scout focus, Mr. Black, Chanel from the HR, best squad, every single few, no one can take guard, vision number two, and stop from pulling your face, all I say is... Yo, you made such a funny just now, like, I can't even stop giggling, because it's mad funny. I mean, you, was, you were so wrong. Like, I know, not confidently wrong. Like too. super confident. Like, yo, I know. No, it's not that. <laughs> anyway, Jabber Nation, welcome to another episode of the Jabba TS podcast. As always, I'm Janelle from HR here with Sir Wilkins and Mr. Black. And before we do get started, um, we do have you know some things um to talk about real quick because we're gonna jump into the episode this week, um, since we're limited on time. Um, but first things first, um, rest in peace, Chad, um, Ballswick, um, aka Black Panther, um, that lost his battle. Isn't it Baldwick? Oh, Ballswick. I feel like it's an S though. I think the S is silent. The what? You S know, is silent ever in life. You know. It's not a vowel. <laughs> you know, black people mispronounce everything. Yeah, but he just made it sound like. <laughs> That's might be solid. A vowel is solid. Nah, nah, but, but um, silence, I don't want to I don't want to disrespect him, but oh no, no, shout no. out to him. I don't want to come off yeah, rude. <laughs> no, but once again, shout outs um and rest in peace to Black Panther. Um, it was just very <laughs> sudden and and just kind of random. It was one of those things it was like, wait, what? Um it's not bright. It was it, we found out on the same day as um is what um Roman started working with um Paul Heyman. Yo, it was like it was that was a roller coaster. It literally is like almost at the same time. It was like I was watching SmackDown and then Ro- Roman hit me. That shit was what killed me. Roman said the whole spoiler alert. We did, but I feel like well, maybe we're gonna talk about some more because payback happened. You want to start off with that? But yeah, we can. But in a second, when I finish saying what I'm saying. Mm. Um, but when Roman said the whole spoiler this is a spoiler this is not a this is a spoiler alert. i was like why the fuck did he ever say that <laughs> <laughs> that's what ah, fucked me up like i was I'm like weak. what the fuck is he talking about then when I'm it panned weak. to paul i was like like i was just complete and utter like what the fuck and then 10 minutes later it was the the announcing of the passing yeah um but once again rest in peace to black panther um real quick on a on a higher note um, special birthday shout out to Mega Ran himself out there Mega Ran. representing the Matt Mania podcast. Happy birthday, my fellow Virgo brother. Um, today is his oh. actual birthday, which yo, when I found out today it was real, I was like, that makes so much more sense. Like, oh my god, uh something that y'all Virgos, like y'all surrounding me in the whole entertainment field. So yo, super creative, super yeah, creative yeah, 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 yeah. beings. Yeah. And it's weird because I always feel like any individual I like talk to or anything is wild creative. Like it's weird, but it's a blessing in disguise. But once again, shout yeah. out to Mega Rant out there uh, representing Arizona, Phoenix, Arizona by way of Philadelphia. Happy birthday, bro. Shout out to Java to yourself because just because. Oh, always shout out to Java to yourself. It's always. People, you know. Um, hopefully you go back down south sooner than later. Um, I gotta go there for the first time. Oh, yeah, you you guys actually you should just you should just randomly go. <laughs> with even with no wrestling, just go visit y'all and just go chill out. But that's not party. weird. I just come that's hey not y'all. Weird. We do it all the time. It's not weird. I gotta chill with them. Bro. Um, but real quick, how's everyone? Some sun and booty. <laughs> you Some said booties. What? It's uh, not even it's not even summertime anymore. But anyway, he said southern booties. Oh, uh, they said summer booties. And I was like, what? first of all, it's summertime up until October 21st. No, actually no, September. September 22nd or 21st. Yeah. And that is the shortest. It's weird day. because I always consider myself a fall baby, but I'm not, no, you're not. technically. So no, it's you're weird. Not. You're not. But what ups? Um, before we get started, um, what's one thing that's happened to you this week, real quick? Um hmm. Um, actually, I've been catching up on my shows. Oh, okay. What's one show? I watched, um, I watched, um, the, um, I watched The Brothers. That's on Netflix. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, like, I, I always get The Brothers and The Woods confused. How? Because they both similar stories, like coming it's to definitely, age. It's definitely, it's definitely, definitely think about two it. Two different but, stories. It's, it's <laughs> but both group of men are successful. It's about some kind of brotherhood. Okay, and now the the theme of it can yes. be very. Similar. And the wedding part is like I get confused when the when the guy's girl came and shot up the place. I, I guess because this seemed confused. Just, I watched it. You just, you just, yeah. It was a lot of black um, people on the same thing. So yeah, you know. It's <laughs> All just, right, but the brothers is a good. Choice. But yo, I ain't got a friend watching that. Like, you know, watch these old school movies. You realize how 
it was a it was a real black renaissance because black movies were not treated like black ones, just treated like regular movies. And how much of these um, rom coms come out now? Black people has been on it for years. Oh, absolutely! Like, like Brown I, Sugar. One of my like, faves is definitely The Best Man, oh, which oh y'all gosh. hasn't seen yet. You haven't seen nothing. You haven't seen that. nothing. But um, like The Best Man is one of my favorite, like classic all movies. Classic, classic. All right, you know. But the brothers on Netflix are definitely. I, I agree. Shout out to my pods, Morris Chestnut. That's you know, back pops. in the day, fun story. <laughs> to every dark skinned brothers, when you first get the ball, that you always say back in the day. You know, because we old folks is I get the Morris Chestnut. That's when you get to get this. Because Morris Chestnut revolutionized the game with that ass style. <laughs> come, come on, B. Every dark skinned brother had the Morris Chestnut right here. Wow. What other names for like beards? Like, <laughs> yo, to all my beard brothers, when you think of the Morris Chestnut back in the day, I know all y'all dudes with beards and bald head has more Chestnut. All of y'all. Wow. At one point, the game, my brother has a Morris Chestnut. See? <laughs> See? So you go to the barbershop, I get the Morris Chestnut, oh, I got you. Well, okay, so what if somebody said, can I get the, um, like, Omar Epps? Like, no, is that, is that one? I mean, what is the Omar Epps? Where's the Omar No, Epps? I'm Omar just Epps. Epps. Yo, stop, stop. No, stop. I'm asking what? a question. <laughs> You're not being creative, bro. No, no I'm asking a question, though. No. Nobody like, gets the Omar Epps. Were, all right, but what else does, like, if... if Example, if you get a certain high top, can I get the bishop fade? Okay, see, Ooh. that's what I'm asking. Oh, well, the bishop fade. Bishop you know, or understand. can I get the crescent moon, like Mitch from Paid in Full? Yo, so <laughs> let me tell y'all a quick story real quick. I and hope I, it relates to Mitch and Paid in Full. No, it does. Actually, it, it relates to Paid in Full. So I was, I was hanging with a friend of mine yesterday, mm-hmm. and we were talking about, like, what, like, guilty pleasure movies that we like or mm-hmm. something like that. So this one over here says he's like yo you'll never guess what my guilty like one of my guilty pleasure movies is i was like what he said fucking state property and i was like i would rather watch paid in full <laughs> Fact. than state property i've never seen state property what <laughs> i've never had the urge to see it's, state it's terrible like <laughs> it's just weird seeing Wait, beanie siegel like being the main character is like, that the end of the movie where like he had the fantasy of shooting off the whole courtroom or something like yes that? Boy, <laughs> that's like the ultimate guilty pleasure. I don't personally. See, yeah. That's not about talking about. When list. he said that, I was like, I would rather sit and watch Paid in Full. I watch Paid in Full every year. That and Belly. Belly, I, I can. Like I, I seen Paid in Full more. Belly's Paid overrated. Belly. No, Belly. Belly's I love yeah. Belly. I love Belly. I love Belly. First of all, Belly doesn't really get good until the end. But the, and then the ending is trash. But the thing is, my <laughs> Belly is. It's a lot of like little nuances in movies, such as when you hear the rattlesnakes in certain scenes, that's illustrated. Um, uh, someone is somebody about to get a trade, or you see two men on the same exact coins, they both like Nods is preaching at that pro blackness, and what's thing wasn't he preaching the street stuff and at the end because the find that buns and I'm getting you know what God get his mind right, but it's regardless of anything, Belly has a terrible ending. All right, sorry, welcome. Belly sorry. wasn't good, uh, regardless, Belly the was ending a bad was movie. trash. I love Belly, and uh, God doesn't know how to act at all, actually. But it was all. grittiness, I like Hold that, on. man. Yeah, I'm going back to Africa and then roll credits. Yo, what? I liked it, I liked <laughs> like, it, what? I liked it, man. Like the first time I watched it, I was just like, that's it. Like, I saw Met the Man with the, the shooter. Pow, 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 Yo, pow. speaking of Method, I cannot wait this weekend, Ghost Book 2. Stars is starting. I'm Met the man, fine ass Mary J. Blige. It, it's not, I'm excited. I'm not excited. I'm gonna have to play it at the party. I don't watch Power. Uh, well, I mean, this is a this is chapter two. I never watched. I mean, I watched one episode of Power. They say it's a big rich town. All right, so Rokas, one thing this week. What I, I, I think I watched. <laughs> um, <laughs> nah, I just finished watching up. Um, P Valley. Oh, how I gotta get into it. What's P Valley? <laughs> It's a it's a show on stars. Isn't it about like strippers or something? It's an amazing. It's a show about strippers. It's about a show about a strip club. Yeah, <laughs> they're going through problems in a strip club. Um, think players. Um, um, players club. Players club, but with with um politics in there. Politics like legit politics. Like senators and like. But it it's so good. So <laughs> <laughs> that's how you when he laughed like that. That's how you know it's good. So there's. A, so, like, the manager of the strip club is a guy, right? Okay. And <laughs> I'm, I might be ruined if we all give a fuck. No, no, no. This is, wait, so, give us a synopsis. Don't give, like, No, but this part details. you have to understand is that he's a guy, but he wears drag, right? Oh, wow. oh okay. And he's, like, a thicker dude, too. Okay, thickums. All right. So, 
You ever see that thick gay guy that that be on Instagram? Yes. Think of him. Okay. So he, <laughs> you know who I'm talking yeah, about right, too. Right, right, right. So he does that, and then he starts getting with a rapper. Oh so, wait, hold up. So he's wait, hold up. So he's the manager at the strip club. And he dressed in drag. His man's is his man's. His his, his man's are like they're doing on the download type of shit. It gets real deep though. There's a couple of deep parts part parts in it. Okay. It deals with PTSD. It deals with homophobia. Wow. It deals with like scamming. It deals with everything like you can, in in like a a lower income neighborhood would deal with. Okay. But the part that has me dying is that. His his like download boyfriend, which you'll find out later on as, as the show continues, is the most hood motherfucker in the world. His name is Lil Murder, first of all. <laughs> oh my god, you almost killed him. You almost killed him. His name you is Lil Murder. He's tatted up. He got grills. But those be the one, like those be the ones. And but the thing out. about Lil Murder is bad romantic. Oh, that's but all the <laughs> hood, yo, but Loki hood niggas are wow romantic though. So I would ruin an episode. Surprised. There's an episode where. He takes them out to like some. They live. It's in a country. I think mm-hmm. it's in um, I think it's in Virginia. It's, no, it's in Tennessee or Mississippi, some shit like that. Mm. So he takes them out, and then like it's in a forest, whatever. And there's a car. He's like, you know, I'm, you know, <laughs> you know, I, I always want to take you, take you to see the stars. You know what I mean? That's not like some moonlight shit. But then he's like, great movie by the way. If you yeah. But then he, he's like, yo, there's no stars out. It's, it's cloudy. He's like, nah. Came for you to see the stars. So then they take him to a car. He stole a car. Wait, Lil, the nigga stole Lil the Lil car. Murder stole a car. And then in the car, he he decorates it with nothing but um lights. So it looks like he like you're seeing the stars. Is it a show? Yeah, no, it's, yeah, it's a, a show. show. Stars. That's one of the episodes. One of the episodes. It's a reality show. No, no it's, it's, it's a, a regular show. show. It's a regular like oh, series. Wow. So that oh, so that you see him, it's in the car. And I was like, yo, that shit was ill because it's like. Legit, the car is like filled with Christmas tree lights, mm-hmm. but it's all white lights, and it's like you're seeing the stars in a different type of way. And I was like, "Damn, this, this motherfucker is mad romantic." That's innovative as fuck. But it's mad gay sex in it. Uh, <laughs> it's like shameless. Okay, it's mad gay sex. Like but shameless. that didn't get. But that but in shameless it didn't get like that to like further in. Yeah. In nah, the it's like three episodes in, you see yeah. some gay sex. Um. <laughs> also. The strippers in there are absolutely gorgeous, like absolutely stunning. Like the girl, this girl named Mississippi, boy, she fine as hell. But P Valley, I watched the last episode. Um, Simone got tight since I didn't watch it with oh, her. Oh, that's what she was talking about. I saw her post something. And I was like, "What you talking about?" Because I didn't watch it with her. She be alright. She, she be watch right. it now. She watching it now. She about to get ready. She watched to it. She watched it right next to me when I was sleeping. <laughs> uh, <laughs> then that like the two days later, but um. That's all I've been watching. P Valley. P Valley. Hold all on, right. hold on. I, I gotta play the. I gotta play the. the um. While you play that, I'm gonna tell my. Uh, what did I watch this? Well, oh, I said it in the group chat. It's on Netflix. It's called The Foreigner, with Jackie fucking Chan and Pierce Brosnan. It by far. Uh, I'll let you play that. Yeah, oh, that's that's catchy. But these bitches grind harder Climbing up the pole just to get out the bottom The crowd below Stay ready for the show You always find the most eccentric <laughs> songs ever bro, song slaps, bro. But anyway, um, real quick The Foreigner on Netflix Jackie Chan and, and Pierce Brosnan um, Yeah, basically The synopsis is Jackie Chan loses his daughter um, And then he basically Goes on the hunt for the guys that The terrorists that Are they trying to tell us something? Who? What? Why is every movie have to evolve? Somebody getting kidnapped? <laughs> no, she got killed. Oh, getting killed. Let me get sex trade. No, no, no. It was a terrorist attack. Oh my god. So Jackie Chan goes, and it's it's related with the IRA and with the Parliament and things like that down in London and Ireland. So the whole story, but the whole time, yo, Jackie Chan. First of all, Jackie Chan created a whole bomb with fucking supplies from is it the a movie supermarket. Or show? It's a movie. The that farm. shit blew okay. like that shit literally. I was like, yo, I was sitting because I was watching it with my friend, and I was sitting and I was like, yo, did he just create a bomb with like supermarket supplies? Like it literally was like two bottles or something and, and rope and matches. Yeah, and he lit the shit and the shit exploded. And it was yeah. like, what the fuck? 
Just but like the foreigner on Netflix is a really good movie. I finished, watch I it. watched the end of it last night, um, because we paused it, and then I started watching Drunk Parents, but then I paused it, um, because I was getting sleepy and I fell asleep. So, <laughs> but Drunk Parents is up next. I probably talk about that. Any good wrestling? Um, yo, I watched. I fell asleep on it, but I started. Wa- I watched um, Clash of Champions, nine, um, 1989, mm-hmm. and I think it was Rick. It was Rick Flair versus Terry Funk. Was the main event for the title, and basically, I think P was it PWI. They had announced on the show that Ric Flair was the wrestler of the decade in the eighties, um, wow. and I think Sting was the wrestler of the year that year in eighty nine. So, who was the wrestler of the decade this um, this decade? It was AJ Styles, right? I don't remember. Um, mm-hmm. I think it was. It was. It was two thousand ten. What do you think about the new list? Let's talk about it real quick. So PWI posted their 500 wrestlers of the year. So this is, I guess, from last year, so 2019. It's from June. Oh, so June to June. No, June. Yeah. Well, I guess June to May. I yeah, guess, yeah, yeah. It's June to May. But you know, it's July 1st. Yeah, July 1st. July 1st to what? June? June 30th. Yeah. So July 1st, 2019 to June 30th. 2020. Yeah. Number one was John Moxley. John Moxley. Number one is John Which Moxley. I don't. Number two is Adam <laughs> Cole. Number three is Chris Jericho. Four is Drew McIntyre. Mm-hmm. Five is Nato. Okay. Six is Okada. Okay. Seven is Rhodes. Okay. Eight is Rollins. Okay. Kofi is nine. Woo. AJ is ten. AJ just definitely should have been up a little higher. Um, I don't we, think we, we can go up to fifteen. Yeah, go ahead. Keith Lee is number eleven. Ooh, okay. Twelve is Brock Lesnar. Yep. Thirteen is Kenny Omega. Uh, uh, how? Fourteen is Roman. Fifteen okay. is Nick Aldis. Yes, Nick Aldis definitely should have. Yes. Um, um, I, I don't listen. Everyone knows, even from when you watch old episodes of the Java Says Podcast, always been a fan of Dean Ambrose slash John Moxley. However, comma. Do not agree with him being number one. Um, I thought all. that could have either been Drew or Adam Cole. I thought Cody should have been higher. I thought Cody might should have could have been number one. He had a pretty um I think AJ should have been higher. He was what 10 or nine. Um he had uh, a pretty good run. He had a bad streak a little bit. But you also gotta understand is the year that they're talking about. Yeah, I know. And Moxley, I'm not a fan of Moxley. We all know that. Yes. But Moxley Loki had a great run over this past year. He hasn't been on TV like that, but he's had the title, made a splash. Like he came in and fought Kenny. His views have been top top notch. I mean, but but they haven't been. They haven't been. I don't like him, but there's an argument for him. And he's but the only one that who's a double champion one. on that top list. Yeah, he's U.S. champion. He's also um, AEW champion. Yeah, and the same year. Yeah. yeah. Oh. You forgot that, right? Yeah, he had that. He, July he, of last year. Yeah. Yeah. And then and then he fought in New Japan. Because the thing about it. Yeah. Oh, his New Japan run was. was that's, but, but that's what that's, him but having that's, the title. That's oh, what, that's okay. What he's saying. That's what you should say. First of all, yeah. you say United States. I was saying here like. Yeah. And, and, it's, 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 in New so Japan. Because you have, you have to think about. So people. All right. First things first. PWI list is an opinion. Yeah. Correct. I want everybody to. I don't want anybody that's listening to this and like people who didn't make it. People feel some type of way that 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 their their name is lower, or or they're not on the list. That's one. It's an opinion, and it's based on their critique or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. So, is if you didn't make it, you feel like you'd be higher. Don't sweat it. Now, my issue is with a lot of people who are bashing the list. Don't do that. Yeah. Yeah, that's like bashing someone's opinion. No, but but it's also the fact that they're like, yo, fuck that list. I like the list is not that prestigious, anyways. Whatever it is prestigious, but doesn't mean. But is it a defining moment in somebody's career? For some, yes. For others, no. But at the same time, it doesn't make who the wrestler is. Yeah. Also, I look. I me and you talk about all the time. I see wrestlers as rappers. Yeah. If you win a Grammy, that's great. Yeah. Right. You get nominated, that's awesome. But if we never get nominated for a Grammy, Rhapsody is one of the best rappers I've ever seen. Yeah, she might. But she's she doesn't have a Grammy. Doesn't mean she sucks. 
it just means some people like it. Like, the people who are on that board like her, yeah, like don't like her as much. With the Grammys, it's a, it's, a, a it's the same thing. thing so. PW is like the PWI is located like the Grammys for pro wrestling. It is, and a lot of those dudes on the list is just, you made it cool. But it's funny though, like you could be three hundred that the next year you're not even on it, and, and you did the same thing that you did yesterday. I mean, I'm last year. So it's either that, I listen. think. But I think it goes to the fact that did you improve from last year? Right. You who, want, who, who you did you, who did you, eyes you on compete? Because you. Um, you guys can keep going. I look up the. I look up the exact criteria because the criteria is like, huh? Because it's just. Um, I don't want to say it's basic because it's not. Because you have some people like regardless of anything like that's just like when people didn't take slammies seriously until I feel like Owen got the two slammies and then he made it something. You know, you you take. It's like making lemon. It's like making lemonade. But out of the lemons, list is you know what I mean? the reason why the list would never be literally prestige because it only is cool for us inside of wrestlers. People catch you watching WWE don't care about. But this. see the thing, actually. So no, but the thing you have to think about too is like, and I didn't realize it until like I really started to know a lot of different you know guys on the indie scene and things like that. Wrestlers have resumes. No, so I understand things, so that. So things like a PW, like you being ranked on a PWI and you put it on your resume and you send it out to other promotions and stuff, Yo, that's worth it. No, 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 no. I understand about the same exact time, though, is you cannot even be on a list, but yeah, you make, you are the biggest draw. But then you'll make the list. You understand? It's just like, yo, even if you could be number one, like, I just feel the list is good. It's great motivation. But yo, just don't, just don't focus on that. No, obviously you're right, but it's a good look to have. Yeah. But don't shit on people, and and obviously there's politics that come with it. Yeah, of course. So the, for people who are listening, the exact criteria is this: it's it's a year. It's put on a year it's from July J- July first, like we said, to June thirtieth of mm-hmm. this year. Mm-hmm. The criteria for the ranking are as follows: win loss record, technical ability, influence on the sport. That's important. Success against the highest grade of competition, success against the most diverse competition, activity. So, so after if that, that's the case, I definitely would have rather Adam Cole never be number one. Adam Cole should be number one. So, <laughs> how y'all guys feel about the blacklist? I would have reversed it. The um, Black Five Hundred. Um, you know what I appreciate about list is that people that you don't know. Now you know them. Like, now you can take, like, when we spoke about it, you were just like, yo, this is dope. I'm actually going to look up the people I don't know. Because I think it's for that, trouble. but I think in terms of, of when a list of, like, that many people come out and, you know, you can, you know, you have your, your people you know personally and, like, do the, you know, the wrestling bit, you know, the industry. But, like, there's those, you know, indies uh, guys that are either probably from the Midwest or from the West Coast or things like we haven't even touched yet that were on the list. And I was just like, Okay, I need to maybe take a look at this. I need to maybe do some research. But I mean, once again, that list is opinion, you know, opinion based. It's not something that, you know, you know, you're just like you're gonna be mad about, like you're not on it or you're on it. But I do take it as you should take it as a motivational piece. And you should be like, and not uh, not in a sense aspire to be on it, but you should be that that should give you some like fuel to the fire. Like I want people to strive more. You but, understand? But, but, but I just want my people to understand that. This shouldn't do, this don't this list don't define you. It it doesn't define you at all. But once again, it goes back to that resume. So it gives mm-hmm. something something to shoot for. Once again, it doesn't mean anything. You can still make money, still do your thing in in the independent scene. But to go back to what you said of Adam Cole being higher on the list, his his career during that one year wasn't as diversified as Moxley. How though Moxie was fighting in Japan yeah. and fighting in AEW. Fuck. So Japan should have like I said earlier, it does just, give Moxie uh, the advantage because you forget before Junior Chan shut down, he became US champion. He defended and he was also doing work with his um, little proto J for a little bit too. Yes, yeah, so, and he was also doing p- picking up indie dates. Yeah. Like know, it's just like Moxley no, is one of those dudes weird. where you have to know his work. He but the thing about it, Moxie edged, I think, edged out. Um, Cole because of New Japan. Yes. Like, if that was the only deciding factor, absolutely. Because I'm sitting here like, you had Adam Cole be the longest reigning NXT champion. And every person he went up against, he beat them. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. And, and his technical wrestling is on po- is better than John Moxley. So at that, every, two different style wrestlers. every other, correct. But if technicality is one of the criteria, he edges that shit. Period. Like, there's no, no he, that. he does, but it's... The, but the, but, but the, it, the one thing even, that oomph... Is Japan and people will only want to people forget that they won't point out 
Oh, Dave Meltzer signed AEW. Oh, that da, 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 da. No, PWI is not involved with Dave. No, but I'm talking about people who say something like that. Oh, they signed, they paid them. Da, 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 da. Well, it, 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 there is politics involved. I don't know the exact thing. I don't know how it's true it is. But then though. again, it's kind of like before AEW, you was not saying that. If a W guy was number one, you was not saying that. So that's why I don't like like people pick and choose to say certain stuff. But once a, but a WWE say, guy, I am happy Kofi was on the top ten. Yeah, <laughs> Kofi, Kofi had it. well, Kofi had an OD run. <laughs> he did. Like when did I SmackDown come saying, around? October. It was when they went live. So that's when he dropped the title. Was October. So he dropped the title in October. But he had multiple feuds with but top then, guys. Yes, but then and then they got the tag titles back. Yeah, they got the tag. So Kofi had a like an OD. Had an old run, was on it. but um, one. let's give a shout out to some of the guys that we know, like Darius Carter making the list. Shout out to Darius Sucks. Carter, who, if you once again, if you don't have plans this weekend, um, BCW will be having their anniversary show down in Atlantic City this weekend, um, uh, where the main event sponsored by the Java Tears podcast, once again, <laughs> sponsored by the Java Tears podcast. You'll be having the BCW World Heavyweight Champion Darius Carter versus JTG. Sorry. Um, so JTG. we're super excited to be sponsoring this main event match. Uh, once again, um, for us, it's always about you know creating that platform. So we're blessed to be a part of that. Um, so once again, if you don't have plans, go down um, to Atlantic City, check out the boys at BCW. Um, Tr- um, Trish Trisha Dora made the list. Good for her. Sunny thank kiss. you, thank you, love, for joining us last week. It was a phenomenal interview. We really appreciate that. Was that. Last week. Jeez. that was last week. Because I don't remember. I was like, oh, Bun I was home. <laughs> I was like, oh, I was home. Yeah. Um, so she made the list. Uh, Faye made the list. Faye Jux. So, Joey um, Ace did. Joey Ace made the list the second year in a row. Yeah. yeah. Ace, yeah. He said he bumped up some spots. So that's yeah. So, so yeah, it, it's it's a great list to look at. I mean, it's not the, the like my brother says, not the defining point in anybody's career. Mm. Um, it is a more diverse list. Yeah. A lot of LGBTQ in, in, in on the list. Um, they did have a, more, more females because the females who did make the list are the ones who did a lot of intergender matches. Yes. So that's the one who made. So they, there's a female list coming out soon, I think. They usually do one too. Which yeah. is really good. But once again, the lists are, I, I think, a good. You like, just made the list. <laughs> that was such a great like gimmick. Anyway, I think with a list like that, it just gives you a little bit more motivation in terms of how to move forward and and how to build your brand. Because also too, when you have a brand in in the in in this type of industry, it also helps you know in terms of the type of impact you make in the business. Um, so those are just things to think about. But it, it's 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 a lot because. One of the things, what you, what you making that face? No, no, no. <laughs> I didn't know. I, 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 no, so, but um, one, but it, one of the one of the biggest things is that, um, because somebody hit me up about it, and they were like, we were talking back and forth about the whole list and everything. I was like, well, one, you have to, like, and this is something that I tell a lot of wrestlers, you got to promote yourselves more. Yeah. And also, a lot of wrestlers don't wrestle outside of their, of, their, of their hometown, yeah. their region. Yeah, you got to go to like, yeah. Some people are blessed. Like, for instance, Darius Carr doesn't, I don't think he wrestles that much outside of his region, but him being on that list, the reason why, he's wrestled top talent. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. I think the it's not always, it was the, yeah. the quantity, it was the quality. The, the quality, he, he wrestles top talent. So if you're not, if you're not on his level, you gotta wrestle outside the business, yeah. And you have to. And activity is key. Is key for this list. Yeah. It's how active you are. You shouldn't should be taking only one match a month. And that's easier said than done because because yeah, you have promotions that don't really give opportunities exactly that don't that. fuck with people. So it, yeah, it's like it's a catch twenty two. But I mean, once again, it should make you more hungry for the business. It should make you want to do better. Hungry for war. Wow, really? When did he debut on um AEW? Who? Moxley. That was that double or nothing last year. Yeah, was it what? Well, what month was it? That was May. May. Oh, okay. Because yep. that was the whole when they was in Vegas and he came. Yeah. And, yeah. And, so 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 he yep, that, shit. So that, he yeah his, yeah, his was, whole full year his, was AEW because he ended crazy. up winning that title. Um, I think almost the end of that year, yeah. if not at all out. He did. Like he had a good few with Jericho. He had um the, the yeah the, he took the title from yeah Jericho. he had the um the great. Um, he had the great feud in New Japan. He was there for a while. The New Japan, dates. honestly, is what edged him He put him in out. dates, yeah. And his matches was impactful. Yeah, because was he in the G1 tournament? 
I think he, he he was he out of it because 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 he had a, a staff infection. Yeah, so like that. Yeah, that. and like he picked up a couple of um on W's in the G1 Juice, tournament. I remember Juice being in the tournament. I remember he um, lost the title to he he lost the title to Juice, right? No, he won that title from Juice. They had that. They had that. Which fight. is top tier talent. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I look back when I saw some. I saw when Juice was on NXT. He was like, "The fuck?" Did he defend it against Lance Archer? <laughs> no. Yo, random. This is random as hell. Roman's career is very similar to The Rock. Yes. Oh yeah. my yeah. god, I was watching The Rock's timeline. <laughs> I don't know why. What do you mean timeline? Actually, if you haven't on the WWE Network, they have this new series Fire. called Timeline, Fire. and it actually is Fire. But, but, but the thing about it's it, like I, my number two to Untold. It's but the thing really about good. it, I know the timeline of The Rock's career back like the back of my head. There's no reason for me to watch it, but I was like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna watch it." You tend to watch it, yeah. and then I'm watching this, shit, and I'm just like, "Yo, this is literally Roman's career because because narrative narrative plays." A role in everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You can push a certain narrative in, in a special, whatever, blah blah blah. Because the original narrative that they always pushed about the Rock's beginning career that it was a bus. Yes. Yeah. But time, I completely switched it the other way, where it's like, nah, he was popping. But, he was popping. He was IC champion during that time. When no, but like Rocky his, very, Mighty, he, his yeah. very beginning, though. No, was, that was his very beginning. He was yeah. IC champion yeah. of Dwayne. Because what he debuted with Survivor Series. Survivor Series. That's garden. big. Think about it. Okay, Survivor Series. Oh, Back in the debut. day, debut in Survivor Series was big. Yeah, and that he, was that time. I, I, think he, I think he had the winning pin too. Yeah, yeah. Survivor Series. Yeah. So yeah. you have, think about it. Think about it. So that okay. was that that time Survivor Series. Then IC Champion run, and then he got injured. It was the injury that happened to yeah. him. And but the thing is about if you do it before the injury, like I didn't like because you forget. <laughs> But they, and I started going back to say, I was like, yo, they really pumped this dude up. Yeah. Like, they had the, the vignettes with him. Yeah. They were talking about him. Yeah. They kept talking about him. Like, you know how they typically yeah. do. Yeah, but and, Vince would always put him over on commentary. Yeah. Yeah. Like, if you watch old shit, and Vince yeah. would be like, the yeah. son of Rocky Johnson. But, yeah. <laughs> and, 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 and the grandson yeah. of Peter. <laughs> High Chief Maya Vita. Like he, he was promoted damn. as the third, as the first third generation wrestler. Right. Oh, it was wow. promoted heavy. And I was like, yo. Dude had a run in the Oh, yeah, beginning. he is. Yo, he is third, so his daughter's fourth generation. Yeah. His daughter's fourth. It should be the first. But literally, he was popping. It's just that it didn't edge out the right way that they wanted to. Then he got injured. He had injury problems. Um, And they were saying, die, Rocky, die. Then they saw the clip of him sliding into the ring. Because I'll never forget this clip. <laughs> Homeboy had a, a polo. It looked like a fucking... Um, Ref shirt, first of all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yeah. And then he had jean shorts on. Yeah. He had loafers with no socks. Yeah. Typical. Looking mad Haitian. Typical. <laughs> yeah. Slides in the ring. He had the hoop earring like, like I... Jordan. And then he and Yeah, that he... hoop earring shit blew minds because fucking Ahmed Johnson did that shit too. And I was just like, Where where are you going with that? That was the style back then. Where are you but... going? And then you look at the Slammy Awards that he won the Slammy yeah, Award. He won, he won, yeah. And then that's when the low key tension between him and Stone Cold started. Was ended up oh, stretch- that clip. Of, oh, was it? Was it Ahmed yeah. Johnson when he was on stage? He was talking, and they <laughs> shut. That's why I said WWE from even the beginnings or back in the day. Their pro- the production, the camera yeah. shit is wild. Literally, um, I know what clip you're talking about now. Ahmed Johnson was talking wild shit, and then it panned to Austin's face, and you should see him like this, like. <laughs> this nigga here. He gave him the this nigga here look because Ahmed was like, "Yo, the winner is." Stone, hell no, it's the rock, <laughs> Rocky. <laughs> God, shit. I was like, and then someone had to look, and then Stone goes up on stage, talks his shit, whatever, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, yo, this is some long term story booking. <laughs> shit. <laughs> I pulled this all the way back. But then, but then I was like, yo, this is Roman all over again. Yeah, the wrestling's recycled. So I'm not. Roman, Roman has little face run and work out at all. Now he's healed. He teams up with somebody else. I was like, oh shit. This Everybody is... has a similar heelish, run to the top. But how heelish is Roman though, right now? He doesn't oh, oh, okay. Let me explain that, right? This is where we go. This is we're gonna talk about it. Honestly, only thing you add was just add a little bit of um sesson to him. Like that's it, you had extra <laughs> seasoning to your extra another layer. He just some adobo because on outside of that, Roman does nothing different. He had to get um um Paul Heyman to like, you know, give him 
the lay that he needed. The edge that, but yeah, the outside of, of that edge. though, if he didn't have Paul Heyman, people still. Matter of fact, you know, like you know how backward it is. Technically, he's a face. Thank you. Because yes. he's a face. That's exactly what... I, yo, so because everybody that hit me up was like, of course, Quintus Brown hits me up like, you got everybody got what they wanted, Roman's yeah. heel. And I was just yeah. like, pause. He's a face. Last time I checked... How is he a face? Who's explain? booing him? Yo, no one's booing, booing him. him. Yeah, because it backfired just like The Rock. No, 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 Let me explain, let me explain. I hear you, I hear you. Here we are, here we are, here we are, here we are. For me, a heel is someone you are booing. Like, I t- the they're greatest. not gonna boo him. So he's so a face. He's a heel. No, but the thing is, they they're pushing him as a heel. But the problem is, wrestling fans like to be disrespected. Wrestling fans legit like to be like abusive, abusive relationships. Relationship. Toxic wrestling. And I don't Loki understand this shit because I love her. because literally he's doing heel stuff. He came but, out. Yeah, oh, no, wait, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. He came Here out. Go. Middle of the match. He, middle of the match. He signed a contract. That's some heel stuff. That's no, that's low key some 1988 Hulk Hogan shit. Like, Hulk yeah, Hogan shit. yeah. But the thing about it, he used the steel chair the entire time. Yes, he beat people. That's heel stuff. He was the old heel work. Now the problem wasn't getting heel heat from but, the crowd. Now the problem is he's a whole. <laughs> the problem <laughs> is oh, it's hope. wrestling friends. <laughs> wrestling fans is the problem because, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm one of them. We 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 like abusive relationships. Toxic and the crazy thing fun. about it, Toxic crazy thing fun. about it is, we are the demographic that they're aiming for. Now his now his merch sales went up his even merch. more. Well, that his, shirt was super what? like super just generic. now like, his everybody shirt, was related. To his that. shirt sold out the day of the night of. And y'all make him more rich, but y'all hate him. What? That's I'm because what? That's energy. because wrestling fans like to be abused I don't. and disrespected. Cheery, oh my yeah, cheery. I, 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 I had to read. The, I had to read the thing about I'm looking like Yo, this man's shit. whole face. Like Yo, you make him more oh, money, shit. you cheer for him because we are the demographic that they're reaching for to maintain us. Yes. So then, so, so then, so, so then I'm looking like now. Little Jimmy is gonna say, "Oh, all the older kids like him because he's cool." Now you got. The, the little Jimmy's, you got the um the Sarah. the, the Sarahs, you Sarah? know, you got the soccer moms, you know, you got the holistic mom, you got everybody across the board buying holistic stuff for mom? him. Now yeah. he got the whole wow. demographic, everybody <laughs> because no, you got idiots. But, but the thing about it though, likes, Roman, no, no, let's, no, zone. hold on, hold on. Y'all need to stop this. Y'all need to give him his flowers Thank while you. he's still here. Thank you. Because nobody wants to give him his flowers. First Thank of you. all. Thank you. He was still selling merch Thank when you. he was a face. Oh, Thank absolutely. you. He was Mad still merch. only merch. Thank you. Because all the kids liked him. All the You're kids right. like him. You're right. You're right. So now that he got some shit that adults can fuck with, they all gonna buy the They're shit. They the bad rich. And the shit is mad recycle and basic. Oh, I gotta get that mad shit. Mad basic. Quick as brown. Oh, you know how to get that. So I'm looking now, like, I'm what? Like, why are you so basic? But the thing is, though, it worked. It yo, worked. Yo, Vince WWE, is bad for that yo, like WWE loves yo. to play reverse psychology in every single fucking. Yo, because, first of all, wild. He came out with the t-shirt on, the same pants he always uses. <laughs> yeah, the same gloves, the same, same gloves. boots, everything. But wait, 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 wait. New teeth though. What made it funny though is that the only thing that he changed was his teeth, and he got a tan. And he blackened his beard because I know he, that shit got yeah, got, that got gray. I know that shit she got, got gray. Because being a wrestler is mad stressful. Not even that, nigga. You getting older? Like fuck you. He's mean? not that old. He's around. I think he's around our age. I yeah. know niggas around our age that got grays. They stressed out. Oh shit! Don't get stressed. <laughs> they stressed out. I mean, well, he just had what twins and stuff. Like my nigga. Homeboy stressed out. But like I said before, the thing is, he they is a he is, is a heel. He's not the bad. problem is. Wrestling fans like to be abused and disrespected, which goes back to what I said. He is like The Rock. Because when The Rock started calling people stupid, jabronis, and dumbasses, everybody cheered for him. Facts. So, oh, yeah, I'm a jabroni. A I'm a jabroni, yeah. I'm a pie yeah. eating. That's me. Yeah, I'm stupid. <laughs> I'm dumb. I'm, I'm dumb. We, I'm are, we are stupid. Like, some <laughs> chanting shit. Like, it's wild. Yo, they like to be abused and disrespected. Wrestling fans are we're toxic as fuck. But... <laughs> Yeah, Speaking toxic of stuff. toxic and great matches, NXT, NXT AEW fans, AEW fans, Jesus Lord of Mercy. So, um, we're gonna jump into it. Um, NXT has, um, I think the last 
I think this Tuesday and I think next Tuesday yeah. they'll because of um hockey playoffs they're gonna be on Tuesday nights. And so rumor has it is that you know USA is gonna USA and WWE together is gonna be looking at the ratings and the numbers and the viewership and seeing if it's worth putting NXT on Tuesday nights now, which I think would suck because I watch Impact, so I'm like fuck. But luckily, Impact definitely replays right after. So I'm like, okay. But anyway, so if AE, so if NXT moves to Tuesday, hypothetically, mm-hmm. now AEW has a soul of Wednesday nights until someone else decides to go back on Wednesdays or whatever the case might be. Um, does it hurt or does it help the, the individual brand, essentially? Because It helps, sir. I think so, too. What do you think? Because they're not doing these rush jobs no more. Like, let's do this to, like, spike the ratings no more. It's more long-term booking. Like, you're going to get the long, drawn-out storyline we like of NXT, you know? But also, the, the coin, I mean, the con about it is we're not going to have these whole oh, shoe, these former Iron Man matches, you know, the um the Lions Den matches. You're not going to have why, those. Why there was never Lions Den matches. He just loves that. So I'll just I, let I, him I rock love out. That. I love that. I love that. I love that. So you know, just a match inside this nigga's house, right? Whose house? <laughs> oh, it was not in his house. They had a match. They had in a the, They had a match yeah. inside the base in the dungeon. <laughs> that was one match, but then they I had an actual. And yo, them. and then the whole wall like collapsed or some shit. It was wild. <laughs> this shit was Again, wild. Great, people, great shit. Crazy, great crazy shit. thing about it. People made fun of Matt Hardy, but yet yeah, WWE doing cinematic. I mean, um, um, similar matches for years. I mean, look at the boiler room shit. Come on. But nevertheless, though, anyway, it's good because they got to take their time. So I believe it's good for the business, and I'll everybody will get better because it may feel like, anyway, you know what? Let me see what the AEW boys going to do today. Okay, next week I have more time to plan it out because now it's still competition, regardless. Just because it's not the same day, it's still competition. Simple. Okay, so what is your thoughts on the possibility of NXT moving to Tuesday nights? Um, first of all, I like it because I like the name Super Tuesday. I, like I do too. Mm. I, I thought Regal that second. shit was mm. like dope. He said Super Tuesday. First of all, yeah. William Regal is a triple OG of all fucking time. Like, yo, when he came out on NXT and made the match, I was just like, yo, William Regal is so. Good. But the ending of the match was kind of like, but it, it makes sense. It no, it sense. blew minds because I was just like, so y'all just made me sit and watch for an hour. It was still good though. But you know, it was actually it was very entertaining. Yeah. And but you made me sit for an hour to then next week I gotta tune in. But it makes sense. And see the, and see basically it's Mr. NXT versus Mr. NXT. Like it's the wild, it's the old NXT versus the new NXT. As, as, exactly, you know. Storytelling. It's great. No, it's yeah. great. Um, but um t- to get back, so you look at so on the number standpoint. Let's look at the number standpoint. AEW came out the gate hard in the beginning. Yeah. I think they did one point six the first week, yeah. um, and then they kept declining after that, and they maintained about eight hundred thousand. Sometimes they 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 spiked like nine hundred nine hundred something. Mm-hmm. Um, this is better for them because the ratings will go up, and just to put it out there. Did AEW win the ratings war, but the, the Wednesday night wars? You can argue and say yes, because I think out of the 45 weeks, um, NXT only won like six weeks, maybe five, mm. if I'm correct. Um, but for the most part, AEW won the, the ratings won a demographic, the key demographics, whatever. But you got to look at the, the actual numbers of the thing. For the most part, they're pretty close. Yeah. Yeah. Is I some for most weeks, some weeks AEW will blow them out the water a couple times. NXT did it, but majority let's say it's for 45 weeks, 35 weeks, it's pretty close. Mm-hmm. And the problem with that is because it's the same, it's the same people watch both shows, yeah, and they flip back and forth, they choose which one they're gonna have. That's why there was like weeks and weeks behind. Back in back to back weeks, they had like banger main events because they're trying to pull the same crowd from the from the, mm-hmm. from, from the other show. Yeah, because what week was it? I don't remember the main event on AEW. I feel like it was. I feel like Moxie was involved, but whatever week where they had Sasha Banks versus Io Shirai, they blew them niggas out that whole yeah, match. Because and, and that's and that's what it is. But it doesn't do good for either one, and it's 
because they averaging about 1.7 for I think I did the math a little bit. It's like 1.7, mm -hmm. 1.8 between the two shows. They're averaging that out. Minus the first three weeks that they had, um, AEW had over a million. They're they're averaging that out. That's not good. Yeah. And I remember I was listening to um, Disco Inferno said this on his podcast. He's like, Raw and SmackDown will do 2.5, 2.3. So you're missing out on a whole 600,000 people that, that aren't watching either show. Mm -hmm. So this leads to proper growth for both of them yeah. if when they move. Correct. Okay, yeah. So this is good for both, and this expands the business. Yeah, because now you can really, like you said, work on what you what you need to work on. Yeah. Um, and it's also like, yo, y'all need to do more to get that those casual fans because yeah. you're only getting fans like who do podcasts, yeah, who listen to wrestling podcasts. So this is super important of what they're trying to do. And USA is a, it's a smart move. Yeah, because nothing be on Tuesdays. Like, no, nothing, nothing's really on Tuesday. I think they should they should move SmackDown back to Thursdays. Facts. Um, Especially when the world opens back up, I'm gonna need like, SmackDown to be on like, Thursdays. Back on Thursdays is, is is you're gonna do more numbers Monday through Thursday just playing wrestling. Imagine. But see, but the thing is, it the the catch to it though. And it deals with more in terms of the storytelling deals in terms of what's what's going on on like SmackDown. Like the last two weeks, like from when Roman dropped that bomb with Paul, yeah. then payback happened. I know oh, for yeah, me, payback, I was saying here like, where the fuck Friday at? Like I want to watch SmackDown this week. Like I was like, I don't give a fuck about Raw this week. I was like, man, whatever. I was so more like. I'm ready to watch SmackDown today. And I was like, damn, I got to wait till Friday. Yeah. Now everybody, like when you're invested in what's going on in the product, it actually doesn't matter what day it, of the week it comes on. It, it doesn't, but you kind of, but you're going to have slow weeks. Yeah. So when you have a slow week and people's like, oh, I was kind of whack this week. I'm not going to watch next week. Then I'm not going to watch the week after. I'm not going to watch the week after. Oh yeah. You get people that only will tune in for pay-per-view. You yeah. only get people that turn in for the, the week before pay-per-view. To go on numbers before I, I know we have to move on is... One of the problems is that NXT is, is shown the next day on the network, but it's late. It, what time is it though? It's like late. In, it's like evening. It doesn't come on like immediate. It's not like with AEW sometimes, and they be slacking sometimes on Sling. But AEW will come on on demand the next morning. NXT won't come on until like the next night. Sometimes where on the on the network on the network. There's been times where I've watched AEW. And I was like, oh, you know what? I'll just wait and I'll watch NXT in the morning before, you know, we record or whatever. And then it won't come on and it won't be on. And I'll be like, well, fuck, I got to wait till later. So, so some people so do sometimes that. they do. Some yeah. Some people wait till the next day. And, and that also plays another factor. But I truly think. Or to watch other people uh, review your show, give the ups and downs. Yeah. It, 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 there's a lot of factors that play into it. But the growth of the business, they have to move on separate days. Yeah. And the reason why I, I mentioned it is because I was watching Unsung. With different world, okay, and random, whatever. Um, yeah, I would say that is the most random. But they were talking about the show and how the show did over the five years, the six years that it was on. It was on. There was one part that they talked about, and I was like, "This is what NXT and, and AEW are doing." So they NBC was getting tired of different world because they did some like super pro black episode. And they're like, "I right, yeah, 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 niggas gotta go." <laughs> <laughs> but it was a particular part where they moved them. To the, taint, the same time slot as Martin. Martin was on Fox. And they had moved, they're moving around a couple of times and their ratings kept dropping. Once somebody said that, somebody on the show said this, they were like, we can't go up against Martin. We're splitting our demographic. We're splitting our audience in half. Also, is it so now you're saying that is it is it a real strategic move of WWE's part? Yes, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying is that them moving Tuesdays is smart. Of course your ratings went up because I don't have to watch AEW. I'm telling you, the people who watch, the majority of people who watch AEW watch NXT. Watch NXT yeah. Because like, if I don't like a main event, <laughs> I'm you. flipping back and forth. I'm flipping back and forth. Most of the time, I mean, NXT. but now I would say I more would watch NXT because of that whole, like it's not a network until like later in the next yeah. day. But with AEW, there's certain, you know, matches or like certain times or whatever it is that I'll watch AEW versus NXT. For the most part, though, I do watch NXT probably more live. I watch AEW live because the one thing AEW is doing, they're developing their storylines a whole lot more. 
entertainment base. Cool. Some of the, a lot of stuff I don't agree with, <laughs> but they're slowly becoming entertainment based. Where it's like you gotta, you, you kind of gotta sit. You, gotta you gotta never sit know through. what you're going. Yeah. yeah, like last week when we're like, I guess we're gonna go into AEW the weekend wrestling. Yeah, yeah. When I was, I was playing, I was playing 2K and I had a foot back, and then I saw Swole on the TV. She's talking. I always watch. Her. Now I Swole. have to watch her promo. Her promoting the match. It's not just a promo now because now I was like, are they gonna do like a vignette where um Brittany does something in her office? No, Brittany comes back, beats her up, whatever, blah, 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 blah. But I had to stay there and watch it because it's been a long-term storyline. It always something like look at the interview with Tony Schiavone and exactly. last day with Tony Schiavone and Big Swole, where you watching it. Like, if you would have turned over to NXT, you went back like, what the hell? Why she beating up for? Yeah, and then had the pizza out. Yeah, and yeah, 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 right. The pizza, but the thing is, like, and the way NXT does it is super cut and dry. Yeah, yeah. The only time they did, like, a couple of vignettes was with, with Keith Lee and Johnny Gargano. Oh, That's, well, they this week, they did it because yeah. they had... um. Rhea Ripley, she challenged, um, I almost called her Margarita something, and that's not her name. Mercedes, Mercedes Martinez. I don't know why I thought Margarita. Martina. That's wild. Martinez. But come on, man. I, sorry. That's your people. Could be. I don't know. Not everybody with Spanish last name are all, you know, related or from the same background. But anyway, you know. Yeah, no. Um, but um, uh, but Rhea Ripley did that where she did a uh she she did a promo where she challenged her and then maybe like after the next match on like two matches later, then um uh, Mercedes Martinez came on and and you know accepted the challenge, like stuff like that. But like if you didn't see Rhea's thing and then you just caught Mar um Martinez, she was like, "Wait, what? Just had what? Huh?" And that's how you looks about? like. You have to watch the whole thing. So yeah, so I think moving to different nights, it, it definitely benefits us as wrestling fans, so we don't yeah. have to pick and choose because that pick and Swole. choose shit is hard. Swole. But um, all right, I guess you know. With once again, we are in some limited time this week. Um, let's talk about this week in wrestling. Once again, we're coming off of uh, payback. Um, with a new WWE champion with new teeth and a new advocate and all that jazz. And then um, they're starting to slowly prepare for Night of Champions, which is uh, the last yeah. weekend in September. And then uh, we are in all-out weekend mode. Um, so AEW is preparing for their big all-out weekend. You got the all-out card? Yes, I okay. do. So uh, before we that. get to the predictions on that, let's talk about real quick what's two things, two or a few things that caught your eye this week in wrestling. Um, I'll start off with you, Mr. Black. Since you seem like you raw underground, yo, I swear, no one better show raw underground anymore. Like I literally watch raw, and I'll be like, yo, where, where's ten o'clock at? Fuck this, where's ten o'clock at? That's Titus O'Neil. Titus, oh, yo, he violated knock it out everybody. He was like, oh, once again, they buried him. I'm looking like they made him look strong. Yeah, I was watching it with my friend, and we was just like, we was talking, and then all you heard was boom. When we saw, it, we was like. Oh, like this. Our face expression was like, "What the Yo, fuck listen, just happened?" They took brawl for all. Yo, and and switch and it up. made it made it cinematic. Switch it up. You know, they probably pay people. I know they looked out for people. They look like a chance to be on television. Titus O'Neil, come on! I saw ripped on his shirt. Rah. Yo, but it was that Yo. fact that they even they they promoted it low key at the beginning of Raw, saying Titus O'Neil retiring Raw Underground. I was like, what? and guess what? Within that. Ten minutes, his being on screen, they build him up mad strong. Cause <laughs> hit him, him and Riddick Moss, they had a, a they were good going fight. in. I was until like Riddick Moss just had that one like punch. Yo, he boom. punched him, and it reminded me of Brawl for All. I was like, yo, this is Bart Gunn. Oh, you forget! Shout out to Bruce Pritchard, multi semi with women throughout the whole night, yo, sprinkling. Roddy, Remember? Roddy's wife, we out here walling with the hat in the in the Come skirt. On. I said, what the Come fuck, on. yo? Facts. What the skirt? Yo, so she had the Marussia outfit. Yo, Come on, B. She had, I just took Roderick Strong's son to the beach. Son. And I came to work. Son, clocked her. Come on, promote that. And then you got another set, a, a, a main event. Yo, Apollo Crew. You had a set main event for Raw on the ground. Versus Shelton Benjamin. And that fight went wild. Yo, Boom, knock each other no, out. But I didn't notice. Oh, I didn't notice gosh. at first that both of these. So, um, Cedric and Ricochet and MVP and um, Bobby, they were all on the same side at first. Like, if you go back and watch it, these niggas was on the same side at first. Didn't bother nobody, no nothing. 
when Sheldon Benjamin and Apollo Crews then fell out on their side, that's when the melee happened. Yeah, these facts. just start brawling. brawling each other. You fell on oh my raw underground. Raw underground is, is tough. lit. Yo, raw underground tough. is tough. And it's, honestly speaking, I don't see anyone else but Shane McMahon ever like thank you. To, like managing that shit because it literally is. I told we said this a few episodes ago. It literally is like him on commentary at Sunday Night Heat vibes. Thank you. It is by far. I honestly look forward to ten o'clock. And thank like, you. Legit. And number two is, so what if a lot of women promo weren't the greatest? But so what? You you gotta get to prepare. The fact that I give an opportunity to talk on the mic, like who'd you say? Um, the women's in general get them more TV time to talk. And I'm starting realizing that. So what? They got to get good somehow. So you throw them out to the wolves. They're going to watch it back. You see you did wrong. You see you did wrong. What's the, like, what do you mean? What's it? Um, Nia Jax and... Um, oh, Shayna Baszler? Yeah, that was pretty bad. So I but, told... Well, on, let me finish this. Oh, like, it, it was bad, but I saw that, yo, got to get people TV time. You got to get them talking. And guess what? They realized they're not the strength. They didn't talk for long. Oxa came. Once again, helping, up, helping each other out for the bigger picture. Now, some people may look at all the black people wrestling each other saying that black and my crime for one that don't exist black and my prime it don't exist you know because no one's talking about asian asian crime white on white crime <laughs> that's a whole other situation but guess what <laughs> they understand that the it's concept so it's just it us here so we got to keep on making each other look good you know yeah it's like i scratch your back you scratch my and they've all been looking good yeah like honestly this is the most the women I've seen yeah, on TV the women years. division. <laughs> I could tell they really are trying. The matches are getting better. They're hard hitting on Raw, SmackDown. Same thing. Listen, the quarantine era brought the best out of for everybody in WWE. Because you had a oh commentary, commentary. The fact that they put they, they don't they don't be after I found your things no more. They had me and Bone to the story now. Come on, I feel like it's a real play by play. Shout out to Wade Barrett on NXT. Wayne right Barrett, now. you know. I shout out to Samoa tripping. and Joe. Oh, Joe on everybody, so man. That. Oh, Keith, Keith Lee is getting buried. Watch. Keith Lee, come on. It was his spirit bomb that took out you know what's the face. How about he didn't, he didn't take the pin, so he didn't get buried. No, yeah. no, 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 no. He's getting buried because of his theme song. No, oh, I got to say this. No, so I realized what I think the issue is with the, the song is, just, is the transition. Exactly. The transition exactly. sucks. But I want to say this. I'm watching Keith Lee, the match. My son's talking Dolph Ziggler. Shout out to Dolph Ziggler, making another person look good. You know, looking Dolph good. Ziggler, the goat. Come on, oh uh, yo, come on. Oh you need boy. guys like that. <laughs> so I'm watching. This is when like he did like his um his bumping move. Keith Lee is flexing. I'm looking. Vince is the genius because when you see those guys, those big, you know, heavy set, short, stocky dudes at the club, they wear tight shirts all the time, <laughs> and you don't think that, yo. You, you, know, you may laugh at them with no shirt on, but when they have the shirt, they look tough. It looks more put together, more look more intimidating. I'm looking like, yo, he's not trying to embarrass Keith Lee. He's trying to make him look strong. Mark Henry, same thing. When he had those, come on, his when, when he got serious, mm -hmm. the, come on. The, Somebody going to get the ass beat type come, of shit? Come, he had this basic similar outfit. Pain? Yeah. Come on. But people don't understand the quote. So quickly says fat shaming. No, I want my stars to look good. No, I want him to look good. But what? people don't understand that. They want to call Whatever. racism. Racism, sexism, Listen, colorism. They're going to do what they want to do. But yeah, so far. But to piggyback real quick, and then Sir Ruggles will give his takes on this week in wrestling. So the comparison that I thought about when I saw Shayna and Nia, it brought me back to Team Hell No. Yeah, me too. And I say that because in the beginning, they were like, because Shayna, to me, represents Kane in a sense when Kane was like, well, I, no, Daniel Bryan, when like, I, I like, I won the yeah. title. And then Nia's like, no, I, like, I still have a part in this type of thing. So they're kind of like dynamic. It's weird, but it works. So because they're both like badasses, like you got one that's like a powerhouse and you have the one other one that's like a technical powerhouse. So like. I'm actually intrigued by that, but it Thank gave you. me it gave me Thank gave you. me team hell no vibes. Thank All right, you. so Wilkins, real quick, what is your this week in wrestling comments concerns? Um, wrestling wrestling overall was pretty good. Um, once again, MJF is carrying that feud between him and Moxley carrying it on his back. Um, AEW went off great with him being Moxley being bloody on the floor. Mm -hmm. I loved you mentioned about the women being a major part of raw that's a beautiful thing because you got three hours of, of yep. content to, three to hours fill, to kill yeah to fill up and you and i'm loving that 
what they're doing right now. And I mentioned that. I think I mentioned a couple episodes about it. Like, you're seeing more women on Raw on a consistent basis. Yeah. Yes, they even and actually, I like what they did. Honestly, with I mean, some people may not like it, but I like that they broke up the Iconics because I've always liked peeing. So I but, feel like her getting. I think, but I think actually both of them getting the opportunity to kind of do their own thing. Well, the women's division good. needs it. The women's yeah. division needs it. They need they need to like move things around. Um, we'll see. We'll see what they do. Uh, I did watch one of the biggest matches of this of this year was the NXT um, Fatal Four Way Iron Man. Iron match. Man, and it was a really, really. Well done match. Somebody mentioned something. I, I, um, I think it was Wade who mentioned it. There's never been a two time. It's only been only two people have been a two time NXT champion. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, oh shit! I didn't even realize that. Um, but the match was was so good. It was so well done. I thought it was gonna be a shit show. Not gonna lie to you. Because I was like, how do you gonna pull this off? But they did it very well because they each had one pin at the at by the twenty minute like twenty minutes remaining mark. They each had a pin. So that made sense because now, ideally, now the next 20 minutes is ideally what a match would have been a 20 minute match. Boom. And then when Finn did the pin, I said, Yeah. And then when Adam fucking pinned him, I was like, Oh, Lord. How did we get to sudden death? And then it was like 10 03 on my stove. And I was like, Are we about to go to overtime? What the fuck are we doing here? But then next week, 11 03. Gonna... No, it's 10. It was the next is two hours. No, oh, oh, I thought that you said uh, I think I was going to sudden death. Oh, you, 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 oh, it was before mm-hmm. he did a Panama, t- aka the um, King Destroy, right? Yeah. All right. What else, sir? Look, real quick before we get into shout the to AEW. Eric Young for winning the Impact Championship. Thank you, Eric Young, for winning the Impact title from off of bum ass Eddie Edwards. But neither. Oh, uh, what you said? Anything else this week in wrestling before we get to these predictions for AEW? No, nah, Roman Reigns is the man, B. Mm. That's it. Oh, That's it. Come on. That's it. That's it. It's literally come. You on. have to. You have to love when I was a fan of him. Like once he um, came back from Canto. You have to. You have to love it when you move the needle in pro wrestling. Yeah. When people are talking about it, when you shock the system, son. Uh, I was I will appreciate it. I was out when he when we teed up with Paul Heyman. I was out to dinner. I was at I was at Jimmy's around the corner here, <laughs> and um, my boy Donovan comes up. He's like, yo. You know, spoiled everything. Um, because he messaged on my comment. So, and I, he was like, Oh, I'm here with Wilkins at Jimmy's. And I was like, Yo, do I said, Stay. I told him, I said, Stay off the internet right now. No, he just came up. He was like, Yo, hey, um, you know, Romans with um, Paul. Hey, I was like, What? So, so <laughs> right in your day, huh? Right in your day. No, it was, um, we, it was like, like, it was no, right after like Friday night. It was literally because I comment, I made a comment, I made a post on the Java TS podcast Facebook group. Donovan was like, What happened? He said, I'm at Jimmy's with Wilkins. And I was like, Oh, tell Wilkins I said hi. I said, But then I said, Stay off the internet if you do not want to know what just happened. And then that's where he ended up probably finding it out and then telling him. So then I, I pulled out my iPad. I was like, Whoops, let me see this shit. And then I watched for like 20 seconds. I couldn't hear anything, but I watched it like in the, in, in the at dinner. And I was like, Oh, this is what happened. But um, you got to love moving the needle, getting everybody talking about it, trying to figure out what your next move is going to be. This is what pro wrestling is about. And until they get more of this on a consistent basis across the show in general, yeah. that's when you'll get back to that mega fan type of thing. They will never do 20 million viewers oh, for, the, for no, episode no, of no, 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 no one no, is no. doing that. No but one. But... No. Five million, six million, they can get to that level. Yeah, they could. But they just have to get to the part where people are talking about it again and make you want to watch it. The mere fact that I was out <laughs> and you're like, holy shit, and I had to pull out my iPad and watch that that one little that three minute, I'm telling you, that clip is like embedded in my head. I couldn't even watch it after watching it live because I was just like, the shock value that I with had. Me, I was like, With what me, the I fuck? was chilling there. What are we doing? I was, I was chilling there and I was like on my phone. You know, typical SmackDown stuff. And then Paul, I saw him. Apparently, Paul, I'm looking like, wow. I was on the phone, and I was just he like, needed that. "Yo, he needed that. what he needed the that. fuck?" So I'm listen. I can appreciate a shock value. I can appreciate 
something I can I can appreciate a shocking of the system. I can appreciate the it tenfold. Did. It shocked the However, system. comma, I'm not jumping on the Roman Reigns bandwagon. Oh, it's not happening. Like Don't invite so, me. So am I allowed to like Roman Reigns? Because I like them you after. You can do what you gotta do. No, 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 no. Like, does it still count me being a bandwagon? You better ask the fucking Roman fans that want to be like the bandwagon's closed. Who gives a shit? Right. <laughs> not hype. The bandwagon closed. Okay. Oh, we don't want you as fans, but guess okay. what? But, Roman wants you as a fan. <laughs> Speaking of Roman, about? my prayers are with the rock. He got COVID. No, he had. Key word had. Listen, people don't read. No, listen, 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 listen. <laughs> He's recovering from COVID nineteen. He already recovered. No, he said they're on the on the end of it, and they're healthy and well. You don't know what could come back. Healthy we don't and know. Well. We don't healthy know what well. COVID could do to him. Healthy and well. But somebody mentioned this. This was the funniest thing I ever read. <laughs> he was like, "Yo, why are these um, Superman motherfuckers talking about getting COVID when this shit they got the best immune systems ever? It's just like a cold to them for one day. It's like Captain America getting COVID." But That's it is true though. Like funny. Rusev got COVID, and only thing that happened was he couldn't taste nothing. I mean, yeah, it, it affects you. That's wild. That's like, major. but Can't but eat. like, but that's it. But like, he was eating. Listen, but... everything affects everybody differently. It's like even if you have allergies as an adult, or you didn't have it as a kid. Like, I mean, look sh- at me. Sh- yo. Sh- I didn't wear glasses throughout my whole childhood. You know, once I turned twenty something, something like that, yo, I, I get glasses. See. It was yeah, like see. the doctor dented this in my face. I don't know how you drive <laughs> or operate at night because you need glasses a long time ago. I'm looking like. For real, it's like, yes, miss, it's that bad. But listen, you have to care about The Rock. Definitely care about The Rock. We definitely want anyone. Kevin Nash had it. Anyone that has AJ Styles had, had it. COVID, has recovered from it. Highly recommend. God bless me for not getting it. Facts. Or, 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 or yeah, or something. I don't know. Yeah, unless, yeah, I don't know. Because at this point, I feel like if I didn't get it yet, I don't know. I think I got it. When? We get it in January because like, oh, okay. I was fighting, like, I like I usually get COVID. We were recording. Like, you could have gave us COVID? Probably. Wow. It's insensitive. People get COVID every day, B. People get COVID every day, B. <laughs> like, hey, oh, some real shit? <laughs> people get COVID every day, Yeah, people get COVID every day. I get citizen app alerts of, like, new cases <laughs> and and the transmission yo, rate every day. Yo, so. like, and, 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 like, that's the point I reached. I was like... <sighs> It is what it is. It is what it is. Um, I'm pretty okay. But I have real quick, before we get into predictions and, uh, for AEW's All Out weekend, um, this week on SmackDown, this will probably, you know, once again, our episodes drop the same day as SmackDown, but this week's SmackDown, um, Roman will address the WWE Universe with Paul Heyman. So what watch out say? for that. Who the fuck knows? But I'm I, once again, I'm invested. Paul, Paulie made me invested, but Paulie, yeah. stay invested. But Paulie didn't make me a Roman fan. Let me be very clear. Let me clear that up. Mm. Paulie made me invested into the storyline, but Paulie did not make me a Roman fan. Bars. Anyway, so, but they're having a fatal four way match to determine the number one contender for um, Roman for Night of Champions. So you have Sheamus, you have Matt Riddle, mm-hmm. you have Baron Corbin, and you have Big E. So we will talk about that next week. But if you really want Roman to get heat, I highly suggest y'all put the number one shit on Big E. And I'm not saying it because he's black. I'm saying it because you need a good face in order for him to be a good heel. Yeah, that's just my recommendation. And he has to like the. And he has to like violate Big E for all of us to like really hate him. Like he has to get heel heat. He can yeah. do heel shit. But he isn't getting heel heat. Thank you. That's the Thank issue. Thank you. That's the real Thank issue. Thank you. He's not getting heel Dang. heat. Because to Dang. me, I tell anyone that's anyone that Thank said you. Roman's a heel this week, I'm like, he's not a heel. He's heel. not he getting booed. Exactly. He's not getting heel heat. You can't oh, listen. And oh, wait, wait, wait. A I'm... heel, the big, the the best example of a heel within the last year was Baron Corbin. Listen, listen. Like I said before earlier on the show, he did heel stuff. Yeah. But he won't get heel heat. Because people love Roman. Well, and Roman is cool. Yeah, Roman yeah, is cool. I, you know, you know, yeah. Roman is cool. Anyway, all right, real quick. We are about to end the show, but we're going to do our AEW predictions. So once again, all out this weekend. Um, make sure to follow us. On, got- make sure to follow us on the Java Taste Podcast Twitter page. It'll be live, um, handled by Izzy, no other than Izzy. Uh, so we have it's the currency. I love the. I, I said this storyline was the it, and if this ends, I don't know what else they're gonna do for the women's division. But yeah, Britt Baker versus Big Swole. Big Swole. I'm always gonna say sis. So 
Yeah, you already know black excellence. Black excellence at its finest. Because she has to get a come up. Yeah. So we have the Young Bucks versus Jurassic Express. What do you think? Um, Jurassic Express. Yeah. All right. You have Matt Hardy versus Sammy Guevara in a broken rules match. Um I love that Matt still wants to work with this kid. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna put that on the on the record. I feel that I'm actually really I'm glad he still wants to work with him. Honestly, that I chair think chair shot was not cool. I think Matt should win. So they're gonna have one final blow off match because this is a good few. Like I don't want the fuse to end. Like, Damn. like they're really beefing, beefing. <laughs> for real, for real. Then you have the Dark Order versus Zack Ryder. Um, Scorpio Sky and the Natural Nightmare. So that's QT and um, I almost said Dustin. <laughs> to oh, keep the, I think to keep the Dark Order strong. Dark Order has to win. It has to Come win. On. It has to win. Uh, we have the twenty-one man Casino Battle Royal. So I think this is the first time they're doing the men doing yeah. the Battle Royal. Darby Allen. Uh, for the AEW Championship opportunity. Darby Allen. It all depends on. Who's going to be? Because they always have like a surprise person. So I wonder who the surprise Pac. person would be. Oh, you know. I was, I was talking to somebody about Pac the other day. I was like, saying, talking about Neville. Can they still fly out? Uh, uh, I don't know. Possibly. I mean, Sammy's back He's from Canada. <laughs> he is oh. so, so we, all, we all know. We all know. Shout out to Sammy Zay, baby. Oh, Lord. Oh. Mm-hmm. That's why I was like, SmackDown just became one hell of a mm-hmm. interesting broadcasting show. Um, then we have in the mimosa. I'm gonna get champagne for us so we can have mimosas. Okay. Mm-hmm. We had the mim- and we're not gonna waste them. We have the mimosa mayhem match. We have Chris Jericho versus Orange Cassidy. They each have one win apiece, so this is supposed <sighs> to be the finale. <sighs> I really think Orange is yeah. over. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I because really if Orange that's if over. Jericho does his job. Yes. Yeah. Orange he, should go to over. Orange is the hottest thing in AEW. Yes, outside of MJF. And we'll get there. We have the AEW Women's World Championship match. We have Haruku Kush. Who was her name? Shida? Yeah. Yeah, Shida. Boring. Versus the NWA's World Women's Champion, Thunder Rosa. So, I want Thunder Rosa to win. I want Thunder Rosa to win. Yeah. <laughs> she not win. Like Cause she does win. like when she like how she wins is mad like just stale. She doesn't well, do it for me, man. She don't do it for me either. Yeah. And then we have the AEW World Tag Team Championship. Kenny Omega and Adam Page going against FTR. I want FTR to win. I want FTR to win. What do you think, several guns? Do we break up Adam Page and Kenny finally? I think this is time for the breakup. Okay. Um, you're seeing the cracks in the in the, the team. It's been there. I, I mean, you see the cracks like get bigger. FTR has to win because of their first match. Yeah. And that's usually how um AEW, AEW does. does it. They win the first. They win the first match and then they get buried for the rest. <laughs> Terrible, terrible. Oh. And then last but not least, we have the AEW World Championship match. We have John Moxley, who's the champion, versus. MJF. And if MJF doesn't win, we riot. I think Moxley wins. What? Because the way that, that um AEW ended, yeah. All that blood is like, oh yeah, yeah, I'm the man. I really think if he looks, okay. he looks weak. If Moxley wins, right? What are they doing with it? What are they gonna exactly. do with who's MJF? Next? Yeah, who's next? Because that I think MJF not winning MJF. hurts the brand a little bit. It hurts the MJ. Like, he's literally carried the whole fucking story. What is there left to do? Like, if Nothing. MJF lose. <sighs> like, what, you're going to jump back on the, the Cody bandwagon and, and, and be the good guy and, and take down the Dark Order? Because Moxley like, could use some time off. Like, he could come back and do something else. I think MJF should win. But anyway, we will discuss about AEW next week. Oh, well, actually... They will discuss about AEW next week. I will not be here. I will be um, celebrating the 30 plus one next week. So 31? Yeah, I will be. Yeah. God. So it's Virgo season and high effect. But I will not be here next week. So sad season starts after the Libras and Virgos are out of here. Oh boy. Let us finish first. But um, but please make sure to join the guys next week with a special guest um live next Thursday. 
Um, but then I will be back next week, and then we can talk about some wrestling, some more wrestling stuff. Mm. But um, anything else? Once again, anyone um, available and free, go down Atlantic City, support BCW this weekend. Once again, the main event Jobbing sponsor. By, oh, nice. Sponsored by the Jabba Tears podcast will be Darius Carter, the BCW World Heavyweight Champion versus JTG. So make sure to um, support. If you cannot be there, it will be streamed live, and we'll put that information on the Jabba Tears podcast Facebook group along with our Instagram and all of our social media. So we do want those that do want to watch the match and other matches. Um, shout out to Vince um, going against Ace Romero. So it's the battle of the big men. Mm-hmm. Um, the Jurassic Juggernaut. And then you have um, shout outs. Hopefully Lala is, is good. We, I wish this, you know. She made a promo recently. Health. Oh, good. So she's supposed to be up here Lala wrestling. Um, and I think the return of Miss Faye Jackson um, this Chucks. weekend in Atlantic Sorry. City. I Get to Atlantic City. You take the bus. Yeah, yeah, and they give you with the bus. They give you like the. Um, you, well, they used to. I don't know. If they, they don't do it anymore. How much is the bus? It's Forty dollars. No, it, the, the weekends is like almost like sixty bucks. Really? Yeah. But no, you get a free. Um, I don't uh, know. If they do that anymore. That's the. I'm thing. most likely because because that's now you for. don't you don't have to pay for that. Like when you used to buy a ticket, like oh, gosh, sound old back in the day, you used to go to Atlantic City. You would pick which holds which casino you would want to get dropped off at. What now with Greyhound has it is that they drop they you could drop off at any you can pick up the bus and go any casino like oh so because went, they do that they don't give the vouchers they used to give like twenty five dollar vouchers yeah with your bus ticket but they don't do that going. anymore you yeah. should go not this weekend though. this weekend we can watch all out maybe next week but they have an all out viewing party oh well <laughs> well I got one in, in at Fight Club so it's who's fine. coming coming to Fight Club yeah uh, we got Izzy we got you. Your brother Dre. It's a short bunch because in Sunday, you know, Sunday we celebrating my birthday. So, um, in New York, and then I'm heading out to out of town. But uh, it's gonna be small, you know, something small and casual. But anyway, once again, and thank you to Sir Wilkins, and shout out to Twenty by Twenty Podcast because I got a little early birthday gift from the bestie. And the shirts were designed by my boys at the 20 by 20 podcast. They're all macho man. They're macho man shirts. And everyone knows I love macho. So I appreciate it. I thank you. Uh, But I thank you guys so much for joining us this week. Those are watching on live and and listening. Thank you so much for joining us. As always, I'm Janelle from HR here with Star Wilkins and Mr. Black. Hashtag Black Excellence. Hashtag we are out. I was over, got the hands in motion If you go with rolling, no need to focus Traveling states and over oceans You gotta wait till your coast chosen Try to have lines outside the show Like every part of religion, that bronze and noble